Mm. So, Michael, how many? Well, I believe I've got six letters there, Richard. OK. Aaron? I only have five. What was your five? Hinge. And your six? Well, I hope it's in the Macquarie Dictionary there, Richard, but it's a slang word, thingy. <laughs> thingy? Well, that's a, you know, we have to get a bit thingy about that, David. What do you think? I actually anticipated someone uh, trying that out because it's one of my uh, mum's favourite words, if people feel a bit thingy about something. And it is in here. It's uh, emotionally upset. No need to, be, to get too thingy. So well done, Michael. It's a, a good much. punt and uh, you've got it. Another thing that uh, you can extend is nighty, N-I-G-H-T-I-E, for, uh, for a possible seven. But thingy, lovely to have uh, some colloquialisms. Thingy indeed, scored Michael six points. On with more letters now, and uh, Aaron, this time, please choose. No worries. Can I please get a consonant, Lily? You can, thank you, Aaron. Starting with an R. And a vowel now, please. A. Another consonant. P. Another vowel, please. Another A. I'll have another vowel, please. E. A consonant. Another R. Another consonant, please. B. A vowel. U. And a consonant. And lastly, D. And let's start the clock. So, Aaron, how did you go? I only got five, Richard. And what about you, Michael? I got six this time, Richard. That's good, but we'll hear Aaron's five first. Uh, paired. And your six, Michael? Draper. Two nice ones there. Draper, very nice word. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Aaron. Uh, draper means curtains for you in this round. Um, <laughs> that's a great six, Michael. Well done. And uh, far more elegant than my six, which was burped. B-U-R-P-E-D. <laughs> <laughs> so, six points for Michael. Our second numbers game now. And, uh, Michael, what do you fancy this time? Well, Richard, uh, I think I'll go for three big and three small. Three big and three small. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Willie. Starting with the smalls. Six, five, seven, and the three bigs, 25, 50 and 100. And the target number is 446. Thanks, Lily. Let's start the clock. So, Michael, how close did you get? 444, Richard. Very nice. Two off the target. Aaron, how about you? I was well off the mark, Richard, with 437. All right. Well, Michael, tell us how you got there. Well, Lily, I started with 5 times 100 equals 500. 5 times 100 gives you 500. Take away 50 gives us 450. Take the 50 gives you 450. And take away 6 gives us 444. And take away the 6 gives you 444. Well done, Michael, but uh, could you have got any closer, Lily? Um, I got the answer. It was a bit difficult today, but I'll talk you through it. Let's take us through them. Now, 100 minus 25 gives you 75. And then you take away the 5, that gives you 70. And if you times by the 7, gives you 490. And if you take away the 50, that gives you 440. And add the remaining 6... Gives you four, four, six. Oh, a great result. But as you say, quite a number of steps to get there. Well done. And uh, it also means that our scores are now getting very exciting. Michael scored seven points there. That puts Michael in the lead now on 25 points. Aaron on 22. And our final word mix for this show is test loaf. And the clue to hit the high notes. Back after the break.
Welcome back. Well, if your voice can hit the really high notes, you may be singing falsetto. Actually, Michael, I know you sing tenor. Do you ever sing falsetto? Well, Richard, I do, but I don't do it openly. I actually uh, sing falsetto in the shower when I sing the Jersey Boys set. <laughs> not, not part of your concert performance. No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> all right. Well, actually, uh, the scores at the moment are getting very tight indeed. Uh, Aaron is on 22. Michael is only three points ahead on 25 as we go into the final letter game. Aaron, make a choice, please. Start with a vowel, please, Lily. Thank you, Aaron. Starting with an A. I'll have a consonant now, please. T. Another consonant, please. C. A vowel, please. E. Another vowel, please. I. And now I have a consonant. S. A consonant. P. Another consonant, please. S. And a vowel. And last letter of the day, A. The time starts now. So, Aaron, how many? I got six this time, Richard. And Michael? Five this time, Richard. OK, let's hear your five first. Well, it's capes. Capes. And yours, Aaron? Facets. Facets of a jewel, perhaps. A jewel of a word, David? It's a lovely word for six, facets. Well done, Aaron. And uh, I only added one more letter, and it's actually describing this game, in fact. Paciest. Becoming quite a good contest. It is absolutely, David. It's becoming very competitive indeed. Uh, Michael is on 25. Aaron is just three points ahead on 28. So it's our final numbers game for tonight. And, uh, Michael, your selection this time, please. Well, thank you, Richard. Lily, I'll keep to my winning formula. Uh, can I please have three small and three big numbers, please? Three small and three big. Thank you, Michael. And, of course, starting with the smalls, three, seven and six. And the three large, 75, 150. And the target number is 582. And 30 seconds to get there. So, Michael, how close did you get? Well, I uh, threw off the pace this time, Richard. Threw off the pace. What was the number? 579. 579. And for you, Aaron? 581. OK, a little closer still. Well, Aaron, tell us uh, your method, please. OK. First of all, I am um, added 7 to 3. 7 plus 3 gives you 10. Yep. And then I did 10 times 50. 10 times 50 gives you 500. Yep. And then I added 75 to 500 for 575. 575. And then I added 6 to get 581. Add, add the 6 gives you 581. Very nicely done indeed, Aaron. Lily, could you get any closer? I did get the answer and funnily enough, it was a very similar method to the, to the one that we had, the first question that we had. So if you subtract... Three from 100, which gives you 97, mm -hmm. uh, times that by the six gives you 582. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> straight there like a rocket. <laughs> Beautifully done, Lily. And things are still very tight. Seven points for Aaron there. But that means Michael is on 25, Aaron is on 35. And so after our next round, we could have a tie. Our final round tonight, as usual, is the conundrum, where our contestants have to find the nine-letter word from the two smaller words. There are ten points available here, but it is all or nothing, so the pressure is on. So let's reveal tonight's conundrum, and your time starts now. Aaron, 
No, I don't have it. Oh, dear. OK, <laughs> that was uh, quick off the mark, but not uh, the right answer. So, Michael, you have the remaining time. Michael, do you have an answer for us? I'm sorry, Richard, I have no idea. OK, so uh, no answer from either Aaron or Michael to the conundrum, but let's have a look at it. The conundrum solution is... correlate. And that means that after the final round, the winner is Aaron. The scores have remained unchanged. Michael, thank you very much indeed for being such a, a great contestant tonight. Uh, we've really enjoyed your company and uh, we'd like you to have a Macquarie Dictionary, 5th edition, to take home. Very good. Thank Thanks you for being with us anyway. Aaron, congratulations. You will be back yet again tomorrow night as our carryover champion one more time. That's right, Richard. Looking forward to coming back. And David, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Actually, I enjoyed those um, sort of L-plater type words that you came up with tonight. What have you got for us tomorrow? Uh, well, moving away from the classroom, we're going to dive into uh, the web. OK, look forward to that and look forward to your company tomorrow night for some more mathematical solutions, Lily. Absolutely, looking forward to it, Richard. And of course, as always, we're looking forward to your company. If you'd actually like to be right here in the audience or perhaps be a contestant on the show, then go to sbs.com.au forward slash letters and numbers. And of course, please join us tomorrow night anyway for more fun and concentration in whatever cocktail mix you fancy. We'll have it for you on letters and numbers. Good night. Good night.